the battle in eastern Ukraine is still intensifying. America especially is on the side of the Ukrainian army, with funds, advice, weapons, and ammunition. Russia has deployed thousands of tanks and armored vehicles into the conflict, but America's help to the Ukrainian president is a nightmare for Russia. For a long time, President Zelensky's military leaders have long desired the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank. And on January 25, 2023, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the shipment of 31 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. But how will a tank designed in the 1970s fare against upgraded Russian tanks in the 21st century? Is Vladimir Putin right to fear the M1 Abrams? What's so special? During the Cold War era from 1945 to 1990, NATO and the Soviet Union were poised for potential conflict in Central Europe. The need for a modern battle tank arose in the 1970s as the main American tank, the M60, became outdated. The M1 Abrams was developed to meet the demands of modern armored warfare and counter the latest Soviet armor. Early collaboration with Germany in the MBT-70 program proved challenging and costly. American designers restarted the project setting requirements for survivability and armament. Early models of the tank that would become the M1 Abrams initially featured a 105mm gun, but it was soon realized that a 120mm gun would be more effective, aligning with the armored warfare doctrine of striking enemies at long range. Named after General Creighton Abrams, a prominent figure in tank warfare during World War II, the M1 Abrams entered service in 1980. Over 3,000 were produced with a 105mm gun, followed by nearly 5,000 M1A1S equipped with a 120mm gun. Each tank cost over $4 million, weighed around 57 tons, and could reach speeds of 67 kilometers per hour, with a range of 465 kilometers. The M1 Abrams is equipped with advanced features, including the capability to penetrate newer Russian tanks like the T-80 and T-90. It also mounts a coaxial machine gun and a 50 caliber heavy machine gun. Known as Whispering Death, due to its quiet gas turbine engine, the Abrams prioritizes crew safety, storing ammunition separately to protect against explosions. During the Gulf War, nearly 2,000 Abrams tanks were deployed to help remove Saddam Hussein's army from Kuwait. The Abrams proved highly effective, outmatching Iraqi tanks like the T-55S, T-62S, and even the more modern T-72S. Equipped with advanced command, communication, and fire control systems, the Abrams could swiftly engage and defeat Soviet model tanks from long distances, hitting targets up to four kilometers away, far surpassing the capabilities of Soviet tanks. Despite some incidents of friendly fire and deliberate destruction to prevent capture, only about 18 Abrams tanks were damaged or destroyed out of the nearly 2,000 deployed. The Abrams demonstrated its superiority over Soviet-era armor. Following the Gulf War, lessons learned led to modifications and improvements in the Abrams fire control system. The introduction of the M1A2 version marked a significant evolution, with upgrades to the tank commander's equipment and navigation systems. More combat lessons were learned during the 2003 Iraq War, leading to further modifications to enhance combat effectiveness and reduce the risk of friendly fire incidents. In 2008, the RPG-29, a Russian anti-tank missile, posed a serious threat to the Abrams due to its double-charge design penetrating reactive and composite armor. To address vulnerabilities, the Tank Urban Survival Kit, Tusk, was introduced. It offered customizable modules like reactive armor, smoke dischargers, and enhanced situational awareness tools. These are forms of cages or metal grills around particularly vulnerable parts of the tank, such as the rear and crew areas. The Russians have been experimenting with these in Ukraine, but in poorly trained hands, the Abrams could be just as vulnerable as any other tank. The M1 Abrams is categorized as a third generation main battle tank, prompting researchers and designers to envision the characteristics of a potential fifth generation tank. Insights from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine are driving urgent updates to these concepts. The emerging consensus suggests that future tanks will prioritize lighter weight, hybrid propulsion, larger guns, hypersonic missiles, and more robust passive and active protection systems. Advanced radar and sensors are anticipated to enhance battlefield transparency, 
enabling easier detection of weapons and precise targeting. President Joe Biden's announcement in January 2023 regarding the deployment of over 30 up-to-date M1A2 Abrams tanks to Ukraine stirred excitement in Western nations while raising concerns within the Kremlin. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky's confirmation of the arrival of all 31 tanks in late September 2023 complicated the conflict. If you've noticed, Ukraine's struggle for survival has attracted substantial international aid, including billions of dollars, along with a variety of weapon systems such as armored personnel vehicles, cross-country vehicles, mobile artillery, small arms, ammunition, and protective gear. Both the United States and several EU countries have provided intelligence support and military training to Ukraine. However, the influx of diverse equipment from various sources has posed challenges in terms of training, maintenance, and logistics. While NATO countries have shown greater standardization and interoperability, reluctance initially hindered the transfer of advanced military hardware like F-16 fighter jets, main battle tanks, and long-range missiles due to fears of escalating the conflict with Russia. It took over a year for more advanced systems to arrive, including the recent deployment of 31 Abrams tanks, which, although a relatively small number, represents a significant step forward. However, given the scale of the conflict involving thousands of tanks, the impact of these tanks on the battlefield may be limited. Still, the Abrams, whether the M1A2 or M1A1 variant, remains a formidable opponent against the Russian armor, particularly the upgraded T-72S, T-80US, and T-90S fielded by the Russians. Having proven its capabilities during the Gulf War, the Abrams is well prepared for such battlefield confrontations. The Abrams has been preparing for this battlefield scenario throughout its existence. There were rumors circulating about the introduction of a highly capable new Russian main battle tank, the T-14, which was showcased during Russian victory parades. It is claimed to be equipped with advanced features including a three-man crew, a remote-controlled turret, a new 125mm main armament capable of firing anti-tank shells and missiles, and modern active defensive measures, potentially making it a fourth or even fifth generation tank. However, these reports appear to have been exaggerated, with only a few unfinished prototypes existing, and the concept may never see full production. Examining the battlefield environment reveals a high-intensity conflict reminiscent of various periods of warfare from the past century. The battle features a brutal array of weapons and tactics, including trench warfare reminiscent of World War I, major armored operations akin to World War II, and cutting-edge modern warfare technologies such as guided missiles, drones, electronic countermeasures, combat helicopters, and fast jets. In this complex mix, main battle tanks face significant challenges. While there have been instances of long-range tank-on-tank combat, many tanks have succumbed to artillery and anti-tank missiles. The proliferation of sensors, including drones, satellites, cameras, and social media, makes it challenging to conceal tanks and other armored vehicles. This combination of threats from drones, artillery, and missiles has led many analysts to question the relevance of main battle tanks in modern warfare. Russian tank losses, particularly the T-14, have been significant, with intelligence assessments suggesting substantial losses. However, some argue that it is premature to deem main battle tanks obsolete. Many Russian tank losses were attributed to poor tactics, low morale and design flaws in ammunition loading systems, highlighting the vulnerabilities faced by tanks like the M1A2 in contemporary conflicts. Drones, trenches, mines, artillery, anti-tank guided weapons, and guided missiles pose significant challenges on the battlefield, especially in Ukraine, which is now heavily mined. Some parts of the front line have as many as five mines per square meter. To maximize the Abrams performance, well-trained crews, solid tactics, and reliable maintenance and support are crucial. The experience in Iraq highlighted the consequences of assigning top-of-the-range tanks to poorly trained and demoralized crews. Providing Abrams tanks to the Ukrainian army, as well as other advanced tanks like the Challenger 2 and Leopard 2, would necessitate ensuring that Ukrainian tank crews, mechanics, and logisticians meet the required standards to prevent tank abandonment on the battlefield. While Ukrainians have shown adaptability in operating various American and European weapon systems with high morale, success is not guaranteed. Offensive operations in Ukraine are perilous and costly for both sides. The Ukrainians, 
Despite their realistic understanding of the challenges, faced setbacks during their summer offensive operations, failing to push back the Russians effectively. The Ukrainian army has also deployed over 100 Bradley mechanized infantry combat vehicles, which offer superior crew protection compared to equivalent ex-Soviet vehicles. However, during the Ukrainian summer counteroffensive, as many as 24 Bradleys were destroyed. The potential deployment of significant quantities of M1A2 main battle tanks to Ukraine would indeed have significant implications for Vladimir Putin and the Russo-Ukraine war. It would signal a decisive shift in political support towards Ukraine, showcasing strong resolve from the United States government and providing a strong political example for Europe. From a military standpoint, the arrival of M1A2 tanks would address training and compatibility issues, as well as provide comprehensive logistical support packages. With thousands of Abrams tanks in storage in the United States, Ukraine could potentially outnumber Russian tanks on the battlefield, significantly enhancing its military capabilities. The M1. A2 is a combat-proven tank with superior firepower and protection, capable of defeating any Russian tank it encounters. Its deployment would give Ukraine a formidable strike force, opening up possibilities for serious counterattack options and increasing its chances of military success. Undoubtedly, the prospect of facing a well-equipped Ukrainian army bolstered by M1A2 tanks would be a cause for concern for Putin, potentially disrupting his strategic calculations and forcing him to reassess his approach to the conflict. Will the M1A2 tanks be a game-changer in the Russo-Ukraine war? That depends on various factors, including how effectively they are deployed, the level of support they receive, and how far Russia wishes to push this war. However, their introduction would be a game-changer in shaking up the balance of power in Ukraine's favor and could significantly alter the course of the war.